For many of us, Android 13 has not yet arrived. However, Android 14 is already available to some Pixel devices. You're able to opt in today and download the first beta for Android 14. And in this video, we're gonna go over some of the biggest changes in this version of Android. Now, I wanna make this next part very, very clear. I was beginning my own list, trying to kind of document the changes I could find. And then I looked on Twitter and I saw this quoted tweet, Ike's Tech Talk here, another great tech YouTuber, a friend of mine on Twitter, you guys should all be following and subscribe to, retweeted, this thread from, I'm going to go with Michelle Raman, Raman, something like that. And Michelle here breaks it all down. So I was going to make my own list, but this guy absolutely crushed it with this list. So we're going to use his list. And then I'm going to kind of, while using that list, I'm going to physically show you some of the things in a bit more detail and talk about, expound upon what he has in this list. I probably won't cover everything that he mentions because there are a bunch of things. And I don't think all of them are super duper important. So we're going to kind of condense it down to the big ones. And like I said, go into a bit more detail. So shout out first off to those two for helping with this video in an inadvertent way. I would also encourage you to go give him a follow on Twitter because from all accounts, he has done similar things to this in the past. Lots of good information on his account. Okay, all that being said, let's jump into it. So the first one here is enhanced pin privacy. So basically what this does is it gets rid of the animations that are present when you're actually typing in your pin on your phone to make it harder to see what you're actually typing in. So let's jump over here to the overhead camera and you can see right now that it is currently disabled. Let's lock the phone and unlock it and we'll just try. You can see here there's an animation of what I'm typing in. Okay, so let's log back in and let's turn that on and now you can see nothing's happening so it doesn't it's much less clear what number i'm actually pressing you can also see that just in general this looks a bit different okay the way that these dots are appearing up there it's, it's a whole different sort of look to the lock screen in terms of what you're typing in the next one here, I'm not sure how useful this is, but it is a transparent navigation bar. Apparently there is a toggle now in the developer options to make that bar transparent, which I think you can see visualized here a bit better from black to transparent. Maybe that's just something that looks better to you. We also still have separation of the ring and notification volumes. Apparently this is something they played with going back and forth on. It is staying in this configuration for now. He references here the ability to set a different live wallpaper on your lock screen and on your home screen. That is actually very cool. And he says this is not enabled by default. So we had to manually enable it. I'm not sure exactly how you manually enable it. Maybe there's some details in this XDA article, but that is a very cool feature to see as well. I love additional customization, stuff like that. Very, very cool. Lots of improvements to physical keyboards are apparently built in because it adds input device configuration files for various external touchpads like the Apple Magic trackpad, bridge keyboard, Logitech wireless touchpad, several more things like that. So great to see improvements to uh, external keyboard and mouse support in particular because we have, you know, Google tablet devices coming. We're going to need this kind of stuff in there. Great to see. There is a toggle to show weather in the settings display lock screen, but apparently it doesn't actually work because you need to flip a certain system property to do it first, but the ability to turn weather off and on on the lock screen may be coming. As I'm sure you already know, this is what we're talking about. So maybe very soon you'll be able to turn that off if you don't want it to be there. Now, these next two are very, very interesting. He links to an XDA article that talks about Android 14 potentially preparing us for the ability to clone applications. Now, a lot of times with these betas, whether they're DP betas or full on betas like we're dealing with now, there are features that are in there that you can dig in and sort of enable the cloned apps thing, I believe was something of that sort. And it's not actually in there on my phone right now. You can't actually do this, but apparently it is maybe still being prepared. So the cloned app thing is coming, the ability to take an application and then clone it if that wasn't obvious enough. And he also talks about how cloned apps will potentially have a little dot next to them that will indicate that they are a cloned app. Of course, this feature makes a lot of sense if you're someone that uses messaging apps and maybe you have multiple different accounts and that application doesn't let you quickly switch accounts. Discord is a good option because 
unlike on the desktop where you can switch you guys quickly on the Android app, I don't believe there's any such way to do this. So you can just have Discord on there twice, right? So you can have your like your work profile and your personal profile, do that with WhatsApp, different things like that. Just might make these sorts of things a bit easier. Now, I do want to make it very clear that I did not cover, I wouldn't even say I covered most of the things that he posted, but what I did cover is I covered all of the ones that I thought most people would be the most interested in. The other ones are kind of more behind the scenes tweaks, smaller things and things that aren't actually fully enabled in this beta yet but are kind of lurking in the shadows that may be enabled later if you want to see more stuff about this i'm going to link to his thread in the comments and description down below so you can go check that out read through all of it yourself there's a ton of really good information there if you want to see more as these betas continue because there will be more betas there will be more things changed more features added hit that subscribe button before you go because i'll be bringing that stuff to you when that happens as well guys i will see you on the next one and until next time stay nerdy my friends